Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody on this Friday afternoon? I'm going to give some time for people to hop on because I'm trying something a little different today. I have my iPad over here and I was hoping that it was going to show my, um, my video before on Facebook. And I realized that it does not do that on Facebook right now, or it could have, but I'm going to have to mute, mute this, but anyway, you know, it's a one woman show. I've said that before. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of, it takes, it takes a while to get everything kind of situated. So anyway, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. It's been a while since I've been on here. I have been busy. The month of November was my birthday month and I was really, really busy. So I did not come on and have a chat with anybody or do any cocktails. Maybe I did one after my birthday. Oh yeah. When my knee, yes, I did. I did before my birthday weekend before my birthday, we did a Sunday edition. So anyway, um, if you are going to be watching this or, or are you watching this on the replay, please just put in the comments that it's the replay. Cause I like to know how many people come back and watch at a later time when it's convenient for them. Right. So this time is not always convenient for everybody. And I understand that it is sometimes not convenient for me. So that's probably why you don't see me every Friday. So anyway, I wanted to do a couple of things, but first things first. Um, I love this cup. My friend Biddy brought these to a girls weekend not too long ago. And it says friends or therapist who you wait. Let me start over. Friends or therapist you can drink with. So that's a cute one of those little L, however you want to pronounce that. See? I'll go that, that way. Cute. All right. Oh, you didn't miss the live, Kip. I'm live right now. <laughs> did not. You did not miss. I want to know what I forgot to get. Come in. That's all right. I'll do that later. Okay. I got three drinks. They're on the scroll down here. I am trying to do something, <laughs> something different. Um, trying to also spend some time upgrading my YouTube channel that is not based on episode, but it's based on cocktail. So if you're searching, if anybody is searching a specific cocktail, then they would be able to find my cocktail versus whatever season it is and which episode it is. So that's in the middle of changing. And I don't know if I'm going to go back and try to edit all of the ones previous. So that's a year's worth of videos, or I'm just going to start from right now. So what are your thoughts on that? That's a lot of work. I'm not sure I really have the patience to do all that or the time to do all that. Right. Okay. Three drinks. First drink I'm going to do is the pomegranate Paloma. This is a recipe that a friend of mine, Carrie sent last week because she made it over Thanksgiving and it looks, it looks so good. So I thought that, I was going to do it now. I'm probably going to mix it a little differently than she did. Potentially not sure because she just gave me the ingredients and I'm just going to, I'm really just going to assume that I'm going to put some stuff in a shaker and shake it because I like to do that. So here we go. And this. Shaker ice. So what I posted was a little different. In fact, I need to get up one momento. What did you just say? Hmm. Wow. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I needed to move my little mouse thing so I could see the, com the comments. Okay. 
pomegranate juice first. Ingredients in this in this cocktail, and let me go through these. Pomegranate juice, tequila, silver tequila, lime juice, fresh squeezed lime juice, simple syrup, club soda, rosemary sprig, dried blood orange. Okay, so pomegranate juice first. Why do I always do this? And why does pomegranate juice spray? I don't know. I'm always making a mess. That is weird. Did I shake it? Did I shake it? All right, here we go. And that's what... That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm a little concerned about now. I'm gonna shake it a little bit in this shaker, but I'm afraid, right, that it's gonna be too much. Okay, pomegranate juice. Just made a big old mess. Um, two ounces of pomegranate juice, an ounce of lime juice, a little. It's like two teaspoons of. Simple syrup, so I'm going to say it's like a fourth, whatever, whatever that may be, right? Just like a guess. And then an ounce and a half of tequila. All right. No, and I'm not going to put club soda in there, but I am going to shake this. Not much, but I just want to get it a little chilled. And then we're going to put it in a salt rim. And I just thought this was cute for this one, right? Merry, merry and bright. It's holidays. I like red. I like festive, festive wear. See if y'all can see this. Isn't that pretty? Then we are going to top it off with some club soda. I opened this earlier so I wouldn't have like a, a spray. At least a little bit. I love that color. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Then we're going to stick some rosemary and a little dried orange. Stick that in there. There we go. There we go. That's the pomegranate paloma. Okay. So, just in case you missed it. A fourth, well, two ounces of pomegranate juice, an ounce of lime juice, a fourth of an ounce of simple syrup, ounce and a half of tequila. Mix that up. Um, mix that up, then top it with club soda, a rosemary sprig, and a dried orange slice. And let me tell you, I dried oranges in the air fryer. I, draw, I dried those slices in the air fryer. I'm telling you, the air fryer can do anything. Just Google how to dehydrate orange slices in the air fryer. That's what you need to do. I made a big mess of that. Okay, that's that one. Isn't that pretty? I'm just going to leave it right there. So, next one. And let me get, let's see, we're going to do, okay, let me just give you a history. I got this another little mixer kit for my birthday um, from uh, the ladies that I work with. And it came from Mixology Mixer. So these people got it down. They got time to put together some kits. So here's the story behind them. It's called Mixology Mixer, founded by celebrity event planner Lonnie Page. Mixology Mixer is a unique cocktail concept created as a result of COVID-19 to employ 
out of work bartenders while restaurants and bars closed around the country. By offering unique hands-on virtual mixology and cooking experiences, Mixology Mixer creates memorable occasions for groups from colleagues and clients to friends or family. By purchasing this Mixology Mixer kit, you are supporting hospitality professionals and ensuring bartenders get back behind the bar to create what they love. So isn't that cool? So here's the little card and there's two drinks that come with it and you get all of this stuff. So I'll go through this. First, the first one I'm going to make is called Sun and Spice Old Fashioned. The ingredients are Maker's Mark Bourbon, Simple Syrup, so two ounces of bourbon, but I'm going to show you what I did in just a second. Simple Syrup, these are called Natural Herb Bitters. One sunny orange ginger tea bag. And here's their dehydrated orange slice. Okay. It says to infuse the tea bag in whiskey, of which I have done over here for a while because I didn't know how long you need to infuse it. Okay. We're going to have to put all this stuff in, in the shaper. So I went ahead and did this just because, like I said, it does not give me any instructions on how long you infuse the tea bag. So it's been infusing for about two hours. So it should be pretty tasty. All right. I did infuse it in two ounces of bourbon. Okay. That's that. All right. Then I'm going to put in... Simple syrup. It's a half an ounce of simple syrup. Okay. Three to five dashes of bitters. Move this out of the way so y'all can see me. I've never. This brand is called Underberg. I don't know. Okay, three to five. One, two. See, that is like, there's not like a, um, oh, you know what, y'all? <laughs> there might be something on top that I was thinking that it'd be a little dash. There's not like that little bitty pinhole. So I don't know how much I just put in there. So, you know, shit happens. Okay. Okay, that's it. That doesn't seem like a lot. I think it's going to be really, I don't know if it'll, oh, and then if you don't want alcohol, you can substitute the whiskey with chilled chamomile tea. I guess that'd be the, like the, the nighttime. All right. Ooh, that's pretty. That looks pretty. I'm going to taste them all at the end, just in case you're wondering. I usually taste them as I go, but I'm going to taste them all at the end. How about that? Okay. And they, I mean, they put everything in these little packets and. There you go. There's that one. Keep this for another time. Okay. I'm going to do a mix here. That way, I'm not. All right, next one.
All right, this one is called the Kickstarter. And this one, again, for all you bourbon drinkers, I'm just not a bourbon drinker. But I'm going to, that one looks really good. So we'll, we'll see. This is going to be interesting. Okay, this one's got bourbon, espresso, condensed milk, and coffee beans. Ready on that one? Okay. So then, so that was the bourbon. Now you're going to put, they sent this espresso coffee shot. One of those little like creamer looking things. All right. And then here's a packet of milk, sugar only condensed, sweetened condensed milk. Hence, I now, now I know why it's called Kickstarter, right? All right. This is going to be extremely sweet. This is like a, um, definitely a, I don't know, a dessert-ish drink, right? Okay. I'm going to do that. Okay. That's it. Let me, um, all right, let's check this out. drink. Then you put three, they give you like a thousand coffee beans, but you use three. Hmm. All right. I'm going to go back over. I don't think I went through exactly what was in this one again. Actually, I'll go through all three. Okay. And then I'll um taste them because i haven't done that yet all right pomegranate paloma salt rimmed you can use a rocks glass or whatever whatever floats your boat two ounces of pomegranate juice an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice a fourth of an ounce of simple syrup two uh, one and a half ounces of tequila Shake that up a little bit in the shaker and then pour it in this glass, top with club soda, add the rosemary sprig and a dried blood orange slice and that one. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to taste it. Let's see. Probably need to stir it. We need to stir it a little bit. All right, let me try that again. That's good. That's that's refreshing. Okay, this one is called the Sun and Spice Old Fashioned. It's got two ounces of Maker's Mark bourbon, half an ounce of simple syrup. Three to five dashes of bitters, a sunny orange ginger tea bag. And let me show y'all. Sticking up here. Okay. Let me show y'all. They sent two, so they, they sent enough for to make, I guess, two. This is the brand that they use, Stash. Sunny orange ginger, caffeine free, but I'm pretty sure you can use any sunny orange tea bag. I, and then, then the dehydrated orange will infuse the tea bag and whiskey. So what I did earlier today is that I took that out and I just let it sit and I infused that. Okay. 
I, it doesn't say how long. I don't know how long infusions take. Is it like 10 minutes, an hour? I have no clue. Just saying, I have no clue. Um, so I mixed, put all that in the shaker. Um, yeah, straight into a rocks glass and add the, add the orange. Okay. Ooh. I like this one. This one's different. You can definitely taste, um, the tea, the orange tea, hence the tea bag, right? I like that one. That one is, it doesn't, um, you don't really have that real strong bourbon um, flavor to it. It, it. That tea uh, neutralizes that pretty good. Okay. Next one. I'm going to get a straw for this one. What color straw do I want? Okay. Next one is called Kickstarter. Two ounces of bourbon, Maker's Mark bourbon, one espresso pod. They use stock espresso, about 40 milligrams of caffeine in it. That makes a difference. One packet of condensed milk. Now, I have not a clue where you would buy a packet of this. 100% natural, no preservatives, no additives, whatever. But, so I don't know. I, I'm really not sure. I guess you can search that. It's may, oh, you can look this up. It's Copper Cow Creamer. Copper Cow Creamer. Okay. And three coffee beans. Mix everything up with coffee beans. <laughs> okay. I'm going to mix the coffee beans now, though. Shake it all up, put it in a Collins glass. Not too bad either. It's not that sweet. You can definitely taste the bourbon, but it's not strong. Hmm. Okay. Which ones do you guys like? Let me see if anybody got some comments. Spanish. <laughs> Kip, I was reading your comments. I, I speak different languages. Spanglish is one of them, probably. Um, but yeah, I so gosh. Of the three, this would be my favorite, which is the Sun and Spice Old Fashioned. Second is the Pomegranate Paloma. And third would be the Kickstarter. If I'm going to, and I'll be very honest with you, if, um, if I'm going to have something that's got half and half a cream or something like that, um, I'm probably going to have a chocolate martini. I don't think this would be one that I would like pick out of a menu to, to have because I just love my chocolate martini so much that someone's going to have to talk me into something else. So I'm not sure about that, but I mean, it's not bad if that's the flavors that you like. So it's worth trying um, if you want to get all those ingredients, but I thought it was pretty cool. And I'm going to go online and see if they have any more and see what other ones they have. If I can actually order the kits, um, I prefer to order the kits without the liquor because I have enough. I have a lot of liquor, so I'm going to see if I can do that and see what I can come up with next time and do that. So, anyway, what else? What else do I have? Not a lot. It's already. I can't believe it's already December. Here I have a long sleeve shirt on. It's 80 degrees outside. It's hot, but you know I'm trying to be festive. Just try to be best so anyway other than that i will not be on next week i will be on vacation so you will not see me live but i'm pretty sure i'll be back the week after that uh, before christmas uh, just a lot going on this month 
Uh, I will post because I am going to be doing uh, some segments with my friend Kip, who's on here for Kipco TV and his 12 days of Kipco TV. So I've got two episodes of celebrity bartending I'm going to do with him. And I have not a clue what cocktail I'm going to make unless he tells me I have to pick a pick something, a vodka or whatever spirit I need to do. But other than that, that is it, guys. Um, I think I'm going to have probably that one. I'll probably drink these two. And that's it. That's it. All right. Since I'm the one woman show, I get to walk over there and um, end this broadcast. Um, but I hope you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy it. I don't know. I don't know what the weather is supposed to be like. I am going to get Christmas stuff up outside. Inside's done. I do have some decorations back here for Christmas. Um, but that's all I've got. So anyway, you guys, you guys have a great one and I will, um, see you in a couple of weeks. How about that? I'm going to. Yay. All right. <laughs>